everyone. Thank you, thank you, thank you for being so patient for me while I was gone this past week. I have been so busy with school. Um, I had a lot of things going on, um, and one of them was an exam that I needed to really study for and take some time to, um, you know, just study. So I took a little break from making videos, but I'm back, um, and it was only a week and a half, so I hope you guys don't hate me for that, but um, thank you for being so patient with me. Um, I'm back today with a tutorial. Um, my Mac Genius Collection hasn't come in yet, so um, I will give you guys a full overview and a bunch of looks with that as soon as I get it in. But right now, I went to the store and I bought a few items that I think are kind of fun and new. And so I wanted to show them to you and I wanted to do a look that was just really simple because this past week I've been like really not doing my makeup to the fullest <laughs> because I have been studying and so busy. So I wanted to give a makeup look for like the girl on the go. The girl who doesn't want to deal with like 90,000 brushes and like um, 80,000 different colors. She just wants a simple go-to look for every day. And this look is using minimal products. I was trying to think of like when I go fly on an airplane, because I do fly on airplanes quite often, <laughs> um, what I like to take with me. Like what are the things I have to have and what are things that like, and how I want my makeup to be. Because usually like when you're in an airport all day you have like two hour layovers or like you're stuck and you have to get there early and you're like not in the mood to look cute. So I was trying to think of a makeup look that would be easy and wearable for that type of event in someone's life when you don't want to spend 80 hours doing your makeup but you still want to look put together. And I came up with this look. It is really, really simple. Um, it includes minimal products and that was the idea behind it. Um, and really no foundation. This is all powders and stuff like that. Things that are easy to travel with. Things that won't break or leak out in your luggage. And um, things that you know every girl probably has somewhere in their collection and I think this look is really nicely put together without looking overdone and still like like she feel like pretty without making you feel like you have you, you know you have to like spend eight hours on your makeup so if you want to know how to do this look stay tuned because we're about to get started okay so to begin I'm starting with a clean face because the whole idea behind this makeup is quick and easy and out the door so um, I'm going to be using Makeup Forever's Aqua Cream. This is number 15. I actually haven't even opened it yet. It's new in the box. And that's what I'm going to be using primarily on my eyes. And here, let me get it open. <laughs> so it looks like this. So it's a really pretty taupey brown. And this is going to be the key to our look. So I'm going to zoom you in so you can see what I'm going to do to my eyes. Okay, so now you can see my eyes, I no makeup like I said. We're going to take this color, um, Aqua Cream number 15, and I'm going to run it on my finger like so, and I'm going to smooth this all over my eye like so. Now as you smooth this on, really build it up near the lash line and as you move like closer to the crease, you're going to kind of pat it on and then take a clean finger and just kind of rub it into the crease. Okay, once you've done that all over the eye, you're going to go in with a pencil brush and go ahead and rub that underneath the eye. Okay, so this is all you're going to do for eyeshadow on the eyes. It's going to look very simple and you're probably thinking, is that it? But yes, it is. Um, the next key to keeping this eye looking really nice and kind of um, put together but still sexy, um, you're going to take a black eyeliner like the MAC Bad Gal Waterproof, or not, excuse me, Benefit Bad Gal Waterproof Liner and it looks like this. And you're going to take this and put this in the inside of your eye. You're also going to tight line with this. That means the inside part of your eyelashes. So the way I like to do that is I like to put this down on my eye, sort of halfway in the eye, close my eye, and just run it along the top of my eye. And that's just going to add a little bit of darkness at the lash line. So I'm going to do that on this eye as well. 
next step I'm going to do is take my um, impeccable brow pencil and taupe and go ahead and fill in my brows. Brows are very important to me. They really help define the area of the eye. So I always take time to do these, even if I'm in a rush. So just go ahead and run your brow pencil through to define your brows. Okay, I'm going to be using a new mascara. This is Dior's Blackout Mascara. And I've had a lot of requests asking how this mascara works and what I think of it. So I decided to go ahead and buy it since I'm such a big fan of the Dior Show Iconic. This one pretty much has seen its last day. So I'm going to be using the Dior Show Blackout, which comes in packaging that looks like this. And I'm going to run this all through my lashes. So let's see how it works. Okay, so here are my lashes after two coats of the Dior Show Blackout. So hopefully that gives you an idea of what this mascara actually does to the lashes. I think it's actually a really nice mascara. It's very, very black as it claims to be. Actually really lengthens and thickens. I'm pretty surprised. Um, okay, I'm going to go ahead and use another um, new product, but this is a product I probably wouldn't necessarily always use if I was in a rush, um, but I do want to show it to you guys because I think it's kind of cool. This is uh, Dior's new Bottom Lash Mascara, and this one is in the color black as well, um, and I'm going to use it on my bottom lashes just to kind of show you guys how it works. It has... It has this really small, tiny wand, so supposedly you're supposed to be able to really get your bottom lashes without, you know, messing up your makeup. So let's try it out. Okay, so there you go. I've put it on my bottom and top lashes, or rather, put the bottom lash mascara on. I usually wouldn't probably bring something like this along, although it's pretty small. It could fit in your makeup case um, if you're in kind of a rush or something, but there are the eyes done. So now I'm going to focus on the skin. Now, to make it easy on skin, I'm gonna quickly conceal and correct, and I always use my Bobbi Brown Creamy Concealer and Corrector. So I highly recommend keeping those in your bag. Um, I'm gonna quickly do that, and I will come back Okay, now that I've finished my eyes and I've concealed and corrected, I'm going to show you my favorite go-to um, face powder. My favorite one is the Pressed Mineral Powder from Laura Mercier. I actually like the Loose Mineral Powder better, but if I'm kind of in a rush, it's much easier for me to use the Pressed one, especially if I'm on the go, like if I'm flying or something like that. It's much easier to use um, this compact because it comes with the press powder and this one is in uh, rich vanilla which is a little dark for me you'll see as I apply it and I like to use my uh, flat top kabuki brush from Sigma and just apply this all over the skin it's my favorite mineral powder So when I'm in a rush and I don't have time to think about blush or lots of color or something like that, I want something just very neutral and on the go, especially like if I'm about to fly or something like that, I like to keep a compact that has this bronzer in it. This is Refined Golden from MAC. And um, this is Refined Golden from MAC. It's a bronzer. And what I like about this bronzer is that it, it kind of works as a blush and a bronzer on my skin. So I really, really recommend a bronzer with a sort of red tone to it if you're trying to use it sort of as a dual purpose blush and bronzer or blush and contour. So what I like to do is take it on an angled brush and just lightly dust it across my cheeks like so. And you'll see it has a lot of red in it so it brings out sort of the flush in my cheeks but doesn't leave me looking completely colorless. So there you go. Just lightly dust that over your temples and on your cheeks and a little under your neck. So that's my favorite bronzer, 
bronzer brush. Blah, blah, blah. That's my favorite bronzer blush when I'm in a rush. Say that 10 times fast. Seriously, try to say that 10 times fast. Um, okay, and for the lips, finally, to top it all off, I'm going to use my favorite gloss. This is from Buxom, and it is called Dolly, and it is just this really pretty pinky sort of gloss. So I'm going to put this over my lips to show you. Alright, so there you go guys. There's your finished look. You have a really simple sort of eye. You still look like you're wearing makeup. You still look appropriate, but you didn't use 18,000 products. We literally used one product for the eyeshadow on the eyes, a little bit of eyeliner, some mascara. We did fill in our brows, which can be a little time consuming, but we slapped on the powder and slapped on the the bronzer. So, and we used a bronzer that can look nice on her cheeks, kind of dual as a blush and a bronzer, and then a little bit of gloss. And this is a very easy, wearable day look. You could also wear it to work if you wanted to and not look too overdone. We didn't do too much eyeliner or too like craziness. We just kept it really simple and really easy. Something for if you're flying on a plane or you have to go take a test or you know, you're running around the city or something like that, but you don't have time to like really concentrate on your makeup a lot. Really simple, really easy makeup. So I hope you guys enjoyed this and I will see you in my next video. All right, bye guys.